Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. I need a quick and simple solution to my current method for hauling these various things around. These are tubes of silicone, caulking, uh, glue. Uh, this is a can of expanding foam. And as you see, there's a can of WD-40 there as well. I need these from time to time in various jobs. And my current method is to stuff them all in a cloth shopping bag and you know, sort through it and try and find out what I have and what I need. And as you can see, some of them, when they're not opened, uh, also have a bit of a pointy end and that of course pokes through the bag and I have to replace the bag every now and then. So my most biggest complaint about this is uh, having to sort through and see what I have and sometimes if I you know just toss the bag into the back of my vehicle as I'm heading somewhere I'm not sure what's in there and I'll get to a job site and well I don't have the color or the particular one that I require. So what I want to do is I want to uh, put together something similar. I don't want to spend too much time on this. So something I can stick together like in an afternoon and be able to store all this stuff vertically. So I know uh, what colors I have, what materials I have, uh, the ones that are getting near empty, uh, all that sort of stuff so I can know at a glance. And so I decided to make a, a small crate. I don't want to make a big one. I don't want to have you know, room for dozens of um, tubes and that sort of stuff in it. I need something relatively small because I can throw in the back of my vehicle and I can just look through it. I don't need uh, a great a variety of these things. So I settled on a small number. I'm going to make uh, nine slots for this. So it's going to be a relatively small box, uh, not too large. You can see here that these are the panels I'm cutting to size. Uh, and it's going to be really light. This is... Uh, half inch uh, plywood. I'm going to hold it together with dowels and then I'm going to take some quarter inch ply, uh, cut slots in it and of course intermesh them and that will be uh, all there is to it. And this is the bottom. So this shows you uh, the footprint for this thing and as you see it's not big and I'm hoping that it will be you know large enough to hold uh, what I need and of course as things progress so I'll work it out and I'll let you guys know whether or not it's doing what it needs to do or is it uh, not the right size or anything. So right off the bat I made this thing uh, too tall. I can't quite see what they are at a glance as I can now. So I cut an inch off of the entire uh, height of this and now I can pick up a can of silicone with ease. Uh, the glue is uh, everything's sticking out sufficiently. Not so that's going to tip over or anything and also so that, like I said, I can just pull things out and know what's there. So I originally thought I would make six inch um, dividers, and but I had these. These are something I made from another project, and I can't remember the reason why I didn't end up using them. I think I cut something in the wrong position. And these are at four inches, and I thought maybe I can use them because I always like to uh, recycle as much as possible. But as you can see in that last clip there, they're a little too short and things will rattle around too much. So these are off cuts as well. So I am using uh, something that I have had, uh, well, they've been used for something else. These are just the pieces that are left over. So um, nothing's really going to waste. I, I may eventually find something for those four inch ones, but for the moment, uh, I'm just going to use these. So this is something I really like. I still do need to find one that I can adjust to what I want. Currently I've made two of these and I just pop the brass inserts in them. Uh, this is obviously for half inch and the other one was for three quarters of an inch. So those are the two sizes I use the most. Uh, we'll see if I get time and well, <laughs> ambition to do it. I'll try and make a universal one. I've been looking around and I've seen a few uh, on YouTube and whatnot for uh, various companies that make these things and uh, well, I mean I've seen pros and cons for it but yet I haven't, I haven't seen something that you know says yeah that's what I want to do so I'm going to at some point maybe uh, find that thing anyway uh, this is just coming together this is a box and as you can see uh, to hold things in place I use my big vise I take it off my mill uh, put a piece of plywood in there and then I clamp everything that holds it nice and steady it gives me a nice uh, well, third hand holds things where I need it to be and allows me to put everything together. I'm not going to show you all the glue up for this because, well, you've seen me do uh, dowel points and jigs, or, sorry, dowels many, many times, and I just want to uh, get to the parts that are new for this build. So yeah, I'm going to just clamp this on. This is the corner clamp I bought a long time ago, and it's actually one of the three clamps that I use all the time. 
the other two you see there uh, are very, very handy for almost all the various types of uh, crosscut sleds and everything else that I use just for quick holes. And like I said, these three clamps are indispensable for me. So I'm going to tighten this down and then I'm going to uh, glue that on, uh, put the pegs in. This is the reverse side now. Uh, like I said, very quick and easy. Uh, I mean, it may seem like it's a lot of work to do this, but uh, it comes together really quickly. I think in total, I spent maybe uh, three or four hours putting this together, uh, start to finish. So again, uh, not that lengthy. So this is the uh, the four sides, and I'm just going to glue on the bottom. And because I'm using off cuts here, uh, the bottom is actually going to be out of half inch oak ply, a little piece that I had left over. So it's going to be a little bit different color. I mean, this is maple and the bottom is going to be oak, which is going to be a lot darker. And what I'm going to do is to, uh, well, <laughs> this is kind of silly, I suppose, but because this is going to be darker, I decided there's going to be handles on the side of this in the end. I do have uh, a fair amount of offcuts left from when I uh, managed to pull that oak rocking chair out of the trash bin oh, a couple of years ago now. So I'm going to make the handles out of that. Uh, again, it's just being silly really because, you know, this, <laughs> this is not meant for a showpiece or anything. This is just something to hold things together, get it from A to B. And of course, make it a lot more convenient for me to uh, figure out what it is and what I need and all that sort of stuff. So I am going to, off camera, uh, sand most of this down. There you go. And then I'm going to do some final touches here. I don't really show sanding, obviously, on the channel hardly at all because I find it, uh, well, it's repetitive and boring. <laughs> and anyway, it's... Uh, I'm not really taking this down to any kind of fine finish. As you can see, there's still nicks and stuff in it. I'll do a little bit more sanding on it later on just to get it a little bit better because I do need to put some oil on this to protect it. Uh, but for the most part, it is just going to be uh, you know, serviceable. So when I cut these, I cut them oversized. Uh, this is my method for getting things to fit nicely. Uh, cut them oversized and then just shave a little bit off. Uh, fit it inside, make sure uh, it is you know, not getting too small yet, and then rinse and repeat until I have a, a nice fit for it. As you can see, it is getting a little bit closer. I'm going to do this one more time, and then we need to cut the, uh, well, the slats. And the, they have to be uh, grooves cut in it so that I can fit uh, them halfway. They're going to be three quarter, uh, sorry, one quarter inch wide and then three inches long, because these are six inches wide. And my problem here is, of course, I can't raise my saw blade that high. Uh, I can only make it to two inches. So I'm going to cut these. And then the nice thing about it being only uh, having um, a three by three, the, <laughs> this is each of these cuts are exactly the same for all the pieces. So all I do is uh, uh, cut one side, flip it, cut the other side. And then I'll have to make one adjustment to the other side, which is a quarter inch away, and then uh, cut those as well. And then I'm going to have to do something I haven't done in a long time, which is put my uh, saw sled on my bandsaw. I made one for that uh, quite some time ago on the channel. I uh, don't use it a whole lot. I do use it from time to time for various things, and this is something I actually really do need it for. And I'm really glad I put it together for this job for sure, because... Uh, I need to extend those uh, slats that you see there, those holes. I need to extend them down to three inches, uh, which I'm marking here. I'm going to mark it like three and a 30 second, I think I'm set this for, just so I don't have to go back and do this again. So there you go. I'm going to put these over here. This is now over on the other side of the shop. And I'm going to first uh, cut down one side here. Uh, this is actually so nice. I'm really happy. I made these so that they're universal. You can see that this is the uh, my table saw stop, the one on, where my on left hand side of the screen where my right hand is. Uh, that is the exact same one I've been using all the time. You can see all the marks on it. Uh, I just clamp that into place. It fits perfectly onto this one, and then I can just uh, extend it down to where you see just there's a dot it's going to be coming out here into the light here. Sorry about the light on the side of the shop. The, I don't really film a whole lot over here, uh, but uh, it's sufficient for you to see what's going on. So I'll 
flip and do all those. And then what I'm going to do is adjust to uh, the other side. And then we're going to do, of course, is cut there as well. Now, my again, my approach for this is to, you're going to see in a second as it goes down here, it is not quite where it needs to be. There's a bit of a lip there, so I'll adjust that again. And then also what I'm going to do, because I want this to be relatively uh, tight fit, I will test fit these. Uh, well, after I knock a little bit of the centerpiece off, and then I need to wide them just ever so much because, like I said, it's an easy way of doing this because <clears throat> they're not always the same thickness. It may be three quarter, oh, sorry, one quarter inch ply, but it's not always exactly one quarter inch. So I have cut them all, and as you'll notice here, they, there's, they're set in um, groups of three here. By the way, I only need two. Apparently when I was putting this together, I uh, looked at my drawing, which I was going to make a few extras, and I ended up with more, two more than I need. But I may end up building one more of these, because like I said it's very easy to put together, and I'll have them, so I'll use those. So there you go, nice tight fit. I'm going to pop these in here, and you'll also notice when I was fitting them there, uh, one group is slightly different in thickness than, or length than the other. And that's because, uh, again, uh, three oh, half inch ply is not exactly the same all the time. And it was a little bit off, just, I mean, a 64th maybe. So this makes it nice and snug in, in there. So all I'm going to do now is put a little bit of, uh, this is much later, put the handles on as you can see. Uh, they're oak. And I did that off camera. And I'm just going to put a little oil on to protect them here. And then we're going to put it all together and let you have a look at this. This is, uh, like I said, it was a quick, easy project. I tend to make these a little bit nicer looking than they need to be because, I mean, I mean, a milk crate would probably suffice if I could hold everything vertically all the time. Uh, but this is going to be much nicer and, uh, well, it's going to last forever. I mean, it's not something that's uh, going to break. Uh, it's a nice, solid build. And if it's, well, I think nine will be more than enough. Uh, that could be the only downside of this because, it, like I said, there's, I'm not making this to hold a lot. I don't want to end up, you know, my vehicle gets really full <laughs> when I load everything up in the morning uh, to head out for job sites. And uh, I don't want to make too many big things. I mean, I already have my new toolbox, which, by the way, I have to show you. Uh, anyway, there's a whole pile of stuff, and this is... One coat of oil. I'm going to probably put another one on here. Anyway, thanks for watching. Leave comments. Let me know what you think of all this. And I'll see you in the next video. And bye for now.